Good afternoon. Good afternoon, teacher. Hi, how are you, girls? <clears throat> Fine. Fine, thank you, teacher. Excellent. And you? Good. How are you, teacher? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I'm pretty good, thanks God. Enjoying my life. <laughs> All right, girls, welcome back. Yanita siempre bien arregladita. A la ligera. No, it's Todo very rápido. good. Excellent. No está bien, Anita. Excellent. All right, girls, let's get this business started, all right? Did you have fun? Today we're going to finish section um, fourth, all right? So maybe tomorrow. No, no, maybe. We are going to start section five tomorrow, indeed, all right? Today we have class number 12. Now, today we're going to practice a lot with our speaking ability. And also we are going to practice a lot uh, with our writing, writing, okay? So let's go. We have a conversation, all right? We quite had a lot of time without having a conversation, right? So let's see, <clears throat> let's practice. Let me tell you the conversation first, and then you will practice in pairs. Conversation, did you like it? So did you go anywhere last summer? Yes, I did. My sister and I went to Arizona. <clears throat> we saw the Grand Canyon. Really, did you like it? Oh yes, we loved it. Did you go hiking there? No, we didn't. <clears throat> Actually, we rode horses. This is the past tense, right? We rode horses. And we also went white water rafting on the Colorado River. Whoa, did you have fun? Yes, we did. We had a great time. We had a great time. All right. So let's get, let me see. Let's get the pairs started. <clears throat> I'm going to have Karen. Karen, you are Laura, and Carla Garcia, you are Erica. Action. Well, Karen. Karen Heyman. I'm sorry, Karen. Okay. Okay, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Welcome um, back. How did you go? Anywhere last summer? Yes, I did it. My sister and I went to Arizona. We saw the Grand Canyon. Hello, kidding? Maybe her audio went off. Let's see. Let me have Anita, please. Can you replace Karen? You are Erica. Okay. So, did you go anywhere last summer? You are Erica, uh, Carlita. <clears throat> Yes, I did. My sister and I went to Arizona. We saw the Grand Canyon. Really? The, really, did you like You like? Oh, yes. We love it. Did you go eating deer? No, we didn't. Actually, we rode horse. And we also went white weather rafting on the Colorado River. Wow, did you have fun? Yes, we did. We had a great time. Excellent, thank you. Now, if you notice in this conversation, we are of course using simple past, right? We are using questions in simple past, and also we are using statements and answers in simple past. 
today, in today's class, you're going to learn how to form those questions because it's important that you learn how to make affirmative statements, answers, negative statements, and also questions, right? So thank you so much, Anita and Carla. Now let's go with, let me check, Natalia Guevara. Natalia, you are Laura. And Karen Martinez, you are Erika. Action. Okay. So did you go anywhere last summer? Yes, I did. My sister and I went to Arizona. We saw the Grand Canyon. Really? Did you like, like it? Oh, yes. We love it. Did you go hiking there? No, we didn't. We didn't, actually. We rode horse. And we also went right where? Weather. The acting of the Colorado River. Well, did you have fun? Yes, we did. We had a green tie. Excellent. There you go. Thank you, girls. Very good job. And I'm going to mention this one again because it's it's weird, right? And it's hard to pronounce. White water rafting. White water rafting. Okay? Because it's kind of difficult to pronounce. Let me go with Vanessa Leiva. You are Laura and Emperatriz. You are Erica. Action. So did you go anywhere that summer? Let's wait. Maybe she has problems with her audio. Okay, so Gloria Mena, you will be Erica, okay? Usted va a ser Erica, Gloria. Me, teacher. Yes, please. Start again, Vanessa, please. Okay. So did you go anywhere last summer? Yes, I did. My sister and I went to Arizona. We saw the Grand Canyon. Really? Did you like it? Oh, yes. We love it. Did you go thinking there? No, we didn't actually. We rode horse. And we also went white wire driving for the Colorado trip. Wow, did you have fun? Yes, we did. We had a great time. Excellent. There you go. Thank you, girls. Let's go with. Maria Siguenza, Mary, you are Laura, and if I have Jenny Romero in here, nos hace el favor de ser Erika, please. Action. So, did you go anywhere that summer? And let's see, maybe she's not in class, Jenny. Let me go with Karen. Hey, man. A ver, Karen, a ver si le funciona el micrófono. Yes, miss. Excellent. Ok, entonces es usted que, va a hacer... El micrófono sí me funcionaba, lo que tuve fallo fue con el internet. Ah, it's true. Problema de internet, sí. It sometimes fails. A veces nos pasa. Don't worry. Ok, Mary, puede volver a comenzar, please. So, did you go anywhere at summer? Yo soy Erika, ¿verdad? Yes. Yes, I did. My sister I, and I went to Arizona. We saw, we, we saw the Grand Canyon. 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 Really? Did you like it? Mary, casi no se le escucha. No sé si Karen también tiene dificultad para escucharla. Really? I... Like Try to talk. Quizás está muy lejos de la bocina, Mary, o del teléfono. Okay. 
like it? Oh, yes. We love it. Do you go hiking there? No, we, <laughs> we didn't actually. We rode horse and we also went white water rafting of the Colorado River. Wow, did you have fun? Yes, we did. We had a great time. There you go. Excellent, Mary and Karen. Thank you so much. Let's see. Who else do we have over here? I have Isis Reyes. Please, Isis, you will be Laura. And let me check if I have Emperatriz. Are you there? Yes, I am. Excellent. Okay, so you will be Erika, please. Action. Okay. So did you go anywhere last summer? Yes, I did. My sister and I went to Arizona. We saw the Grand Canyon. Really? Do you like it? Oh, yes, we love it. Did you go behind the chair? No, we didn't. Actually, we rode horse and we also went white water racing on the Colorado River. Wow, did you have fun? Yes, we did. We had a great time. Excellent, there you go. Thank you, Isis and Emperatriz. All right, very good. Excellent. Now, with this conversation, Lo que hemos puesto en práctica en esta conversation es el uso del simple past, right? Es probable que quizás por eso sintieron que les iba a costar un poquito más. But you did great. Lo hicieron muy bien. Excellent, right? Thank you. Now, let's move on to the following information. Simple past, yes or no questions, all right? Simple past, yes or no questions. We have some examples. I have also wrote down the correct guiding structure for you to have it after this slide. But meanwhile, we have questions and answers. Questions and answers. If you remember, my dear students, <clears throat> when you have simple past, yes or no questions, uh, you tend to have the answers in a short way, right? For example, yes, I did, no, I didn't. But in this case, you are asking a specific things. So you can add more information, right? You can add a little bit of more information and that will be okay. Si ustedes recuerdan para las preguntas que son con los auxiliaries o las que llamamos yes or no questions, para esas se dan respuestas cortas, right? Como yes, I did, or no, I didn't. Pero en este caso, si preguntamos algo específico, tenemos la oportunidad de, de brindar más información, right? Aunque no son double H questions, que las double H questions son las que se les conoce como information questions, pero en estas también ahora podemos agregar un poquito más de information, okay? Specifically. So, listen, did you have a good summer? Yes, I did. I had a great summer. Did you play volleyball? No, I didn't. I played tennis. Did Erika like her vacation? Yes, she did. She liked it a lot. Did Erika and her sister go to Colorado? No, they didn't. They went to Arizona, All right? So there you go. Let's check these ones. We're going to practice our pronunciation right now with these questions and answers. Let me have Gloria, Gloria Mena. You will ask, usted va a preguntar a Gloria, pero escoja quién quiere que trabaje con usted, please. I have Gloria. Eh, Emperatriz. Okay, excellent. So you ask Gloria and Emperatriz is going to answer. 
action. Okay. Hi, Gloria. Hi. Do you have a good summer? Yes, I did. I had a great summer. Do you play volleyball? No, I didn't. I play tennis. Uh, did Erica like her vacation? Yes, she did. She liked it a lot. Uh, did Erica and her sister go to Colorado? No, they didn't. They went to Arizona. Ah, thank you. Bye. Bravo. You're welcome. Bye bye. <laughs> Excellent, very good. Thank you so much, girls. Now let's get into another pair. Let me see. Vanessa Leiva. Vanessa, choose your pair. Usted escoge su victim. Karen Martinez. Okay, excellent. Usted pregunta, Vanessa, and Karen responde. Okay. Did you have a good summer? Yes, I do. I have a great summer. Did you play volleyball? No, I didn't. I play tennis. Did Erica like her vacation? Yes, she did. She did. She liked it a lot. Did Erica and her sister go to Colorado? No, they didn't. They went to Arizona. Yay, that's correct. Excellent. Thank you. Let's have a Anita. Do I have Anita over here? Let me check. No, I think she went off. Okay, let me have then Natalia, please. Natalia, choose your victim. Okay. Um, moment, please. ¿Quiénes no han pasado? Mm, we have Jenny Romero, Carla García, we have also, let me see, Patricia, Pacheco, Genevieve, Isis. Patricia. Ok. Patricia. Ok, Patricia. Ok, ok. Usted pregunta, Natalia, Patricia, answer. Ok. Did you have a good, a good summer? Yes, I did. Had a great summer. Did you play volleyball? No, I didn't play tennis. I played tennis. Did Erica like her vacation? Yes, she did. She liked it a lot. Did Erica and her sister go to Colorado? No, they didn't. They went to Arizona. Excellent. There you go. Thank you, girls. Very good. Let me just send this. Okay, there you go. Very good pronunciation and intonation. Let's go with Maria Siguenza. Mary, you choose who would you like to work with. Usted escoge con quien quiere trabajar. Solo que no la escucho, Mary. This is Reyes. Okay, Isis Reyes. Okay, so Mary, you ask and Isis, you answer. No, me as well. Mary, usted pregunta and Isis answer. Isis va a responder. Did you have a good summer? Yes, I did. I had a great summer. No, I didn't. I played tennis. Did Erica like her vacation? Yes, she did. She liked it, uh, it a lot. Did Erica and her sister go to Colorado? No, they didn't. They went to Arizona. Excellent. There you go. Thank you. Let's see, Genevieve, choose your pair, choose your victim. Okay, miss. No sé quién no ha pasado. Let me see. We have, ya le digo. Tenemos a Karen Heyman, tenemos a Anita, tenemos a Jenny Romero y a Fátima Enríquez. A Karen. Okay, Karen Heyman, you answer. Okay. 
Karen, usted va a responder. Action. Did you have a good summer? Yes, I did. I had a good summer. Did you play volleyball? No, I didn't. I played tennis. Did Erica like her vacation? Yes, she did. She liked it a lot. Did Erica and her sister go to Colorado? No, they didn't. They went to Arizona. There you go, that's correct, thank you. Now, let me have, let's see. We have Anita. Anita, you will ask. Y tenemos por aquí a Jenny Romero. Okay, Jenny, you answer. Your question or Did you The question, you, your question. You are gonna yeah. do the questions, Anita. Okay. Action. Did you have a good summer? Yes, I did. I had a great summer. Did you play volleyball? No, I didn't. I played tennis. Did Erica like her vacation? Yes, she did. She liked it a lot. Did Erica and her sister go to Colorado? No, they didn't. They went to Arizona. That's correct. Excellent. Thank you. Very good practice, my dear students, right? We needed to practice this content because now we are going to learn how to form those questions, right? Which is important. So let's go. Guiding a structure for questions. In this case, we can say for yes or no questions, right? We have this structure, did plus subject plus verb in simple present plus complement plus, plus question mark. Si ustedes recuerdan, cuando hacíamos el negativo, cuando hacíamos la forma negativa, como tenían el auxiliar, no iban a cambiar el verbo que le seguía, right? Lo mismo es aquí. Ok, tenemos el auxiliar y para iniciar. So, my, follow, my following verb is going to be in simple present. I want to change it. I don't need it. Right? So, copy this on your notebooks, please. Let me know when you're finished. Finished, teacher. Excellent, thank you. Right. Okay, now let's move on to the guiding examples. Es bueno conocer cuál es la estructura, pero también necesitamos unos ejemplos, all right? So, did you drink soda yesterday? Did Pablo buy a new card? Did she call her mother? All right. Con esto quiero que vean que cuando decimos subject, nos referimos a que podemos utilizar first person eh, or third person singular. All right. Lo bueno con este auxiliary, si ustedes recuerdan con el simple present, ustedes tenían que cambiar el auxiliary cuando era tercera persona, right? Tenían que decir does. Y con este no. El auxiliary queda igual. All right? Did she call her mother? Esta aplica tanto para primera persona singular como para tercera persona singular. All right? So it's easier. <laughs> Let's see. I'm going to need somebody to read the sentences. Let me see, Natalia. Can you please read question number one? Okay, miss. Uh, number one, did you drink soda yesterday? Mm -hmm. There you go, excellent. Vanessa Leiva, number two. Did Pablo buy a new car? Mm -hmm. Thank you, and Karen Martinez, number three. Did she call her mother? 
Uh -huh, exactly, that's correct, all right? If you notice, this is my auxiliary. You is my subject. My very simple present is drink. The following information is complement. And that's it, that's it. That's only you need to know. If you want, you can copy these guiding examples. If not, you let me know so I moved on. Let me ask you something before we go to the practice time. Do you have any questions about how to create this type of questions? Yes or no? Teacher, en, en, es, en esta forma, el did, o sea, se puede utilizar parecido al, al negativo, ¿verdad? Que utilizamos el verbo en forma, ¿verdad? Sin cambiar, en cambio... En el otro, ¿verdad? Sí, ten, eh, estamos trabajando con los verbos, ¿verdad? En regulares también. Y ahí exactly. regulares también. O sea, que esta exactly. es una buena forma de nosotros poder hablar. Exactly. O sea, si tenemos necesidad de cambiar el, el verbo. Yes. El verbo. Yes. Estas, so, la auxiliar solo les va a ayudar when you have questions and negative statements, right? Solo para las questions y negative statements. Solo para questions. Uh -huh, ok. Y para responder estas questions es que se pueden utilizar el yes, I did, eh, no, I don't, yes, she did, right? Sí podemos utilizarlo. Lo bonito de esta parte que les mencionaba es que, no sé si ustedes se remontan al simple present, tenían que utilizar el do y el does, right? Tanto para eh, las questions como para las answers. Y aquí no, aquí solo se quedan con el did. It's simple. Es un poquito más adaptable, right? So, it's better. Y lo bueno es que su verb, it always going to be in simple present. El verbo siempre nos va a quedar en simple present. Ya cuando estamos haciendo statements in affirmative, cuando ya hacemos afirmaciones en positivo, ya ahí sí tenemos que cambiar el verb, right? No podemos hacer uso del auxiliary. Do you have any other question, girls? No more. Okay, so let's move on to the practice time. Let me see, Isis Reyes, can you please tell me the instructions? Okay. Work as world class. Two, create three questions using simple past tense. Three, ask those questions to your classmate. Four, enjoy the activity. That's correct. Thank you, girl. All right, so create at least three questions. Tres preguntas que ustedes quieran hacerles a sus classmates. Y después van a ir escogiendo con quienes quieren trabajar. All right. Lo bueno de las yes or no questions es que si queremos nos quedamos solo con yes, I did, no, I didn't. All right. Está ahí. Miss. Yes. Um, Podría poner los, las preguntas anteriores, por favor. Los guiding examples, estos o las yes. anteriores. Sí, esa. Estos. Gracias. Excellent. Very good. There you go.
if you need help or you have questions, you can. Question. Uh -huh. Question. Yes, let's see. Uh, okay. Uh, we, no, did we go to the beach or at the beach? Ah, uh, did we go to the beach? To the beach. Mm -hmm. Exactly. That's correct. Very good, lady. Lady, lady no anda manejando, ¿verdad? <laughs> no, 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 ahorita ya estoy, eh, ya me pude aislar un poquito porque estaba oh, okay. afuera, pero ya. Ok, excelente, sí, porque si no, no se preocupe, right? Yo sé que usted siempre participa. Ok. Eh, let me Did see. He, ¿Tiene otra? Next. Yes, two more. Did he run in the park every morning? Mm. Oh, only. Did he usually run in the park? No le ponga every morning, porque esa ya es como una rutina diaria que utilizamos en simple present. Okay. Mm -hmm. Only did he run in the park? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that one. And next, did they eat pupusa on Sunday? That's correct, excellent, very really good. Okay, lady, let me check. Um, those sentences are correct. Ya sus sentences están correctas. Ahora usted le escoja a alguien a quien le quiera preguntar una de esas questions. Okay. Emperatriz. Ok. Excelente. Hola. Hola. Hola, Emperatriz. Hola. <ríe> Lady le va a hacer una pregunta, all right, utilizando okay. sus auxiliares. Y usted va a contestar. Ok. Ahí okay. <ríe> ok. Did they eat pupusa on Sunday? Yes, I didn't. Yes, How you do did. you know? <ríe> All right, excellent. Yes, yes. Okay, there you go. Now, in this case, it's okay because you answer, right? <laughs> you ate pupusas, and that's great. You ate pupusas. Okay, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Now, let's see. Don't forget, girls, that if you have a subject specifically in the question, like in that case, did they? You have to answer, yes, they did, right? Or you can include yourself. Yes, we did, right? But actually, they is to talk about a specific or a certain group of people, right? So thank you, lady. Somebody else who has finished? Me, teacher. Uh -huh, let's see. Jenny, excellent. Okay, dígame sus questions y después escoge a quién. Okay, did you drive yesterday? Did you cook last dinner? Did you eat pupusas yesterday? There you go, excellent. Girls, you're thinking about pupusas, right? Yes. <laughs> now, let's see. Choose a victim, Jenny. Alguien a quien quiera hacerle una de esas preguntas. Fatima Enrique. Okay, Fatima. Oh, Fatima is not able, it's not available. No está disponible ahorita, okay. Fatima. Okay. Um, Gloria Mena. Okay, excellent. Okay, Gloria, are you there? Me? Mm -hmm. Okay, excellent. Bye. Uh, Jenny le va a hacer una pregunta y usted va a contestar, all right? Yes. Gloria, did you cook last dinner? Repeat, please. Did you cook last dinner? Uh, yes. Yes, I did. There you go. Oh. Excellent. Yes, I did. She did. She cooked. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you, girls. Somebody else who would like to tell me their sentences? Me, sure. teacher. Uh -huh. Excellent. Tell me, Karen. Uh, did you go to the beach yesterday? Did you see his uncle? Did you buy a boat and eat house? Uh -huh. That's correct. Excellent. Bye. Very good. Ahora escoja su victim, Karen. 
Um, Carla. Carla. Okay, Carlita. So Karen, you ask and Carlita is going to answer. <laughs> Carla, did you go to the beach yesterday? Sería Carla García, right? Sí. Yes. Okay, vamos a ver. Está available. I think she's not available. Tal vez está ocupadita si quieres coger a alguien más. Isis. Isis, okay. Isis, did you go to the beach yesterday? Eh, no, I didn't. Yes, okay. yesterday was Monday. <laughs> Excellent. There you go. Thank you, Karen. Thank you, Isis. That's great. Let's go with Mary. Okay, Mary. Dígame sus sentences. Que vi que sus questions. What did you eat top yesterday? Mm -hmm. Next. Did you do exercise last weekend? Did you exercise last weekend? Uh huh. Yes. Travel last month. Mm, repeat number three again, please. Did you travel last uh -huh, month? That's correct. Last month. So, están muy buenas. Okay, Mary, escoja y choose your victim. ¿Quién no han pasado? pasado? Ok, sí, le voy a decir quién no han pasado porque si no me van a volver a pedir a Isis. <laughs> Let's see. Tenemos a Anita, tenemos a Patricia, a Genevieve. Patricia. Okay, excellent. Did you eat soap yesterday? Repeat, please. Did you eat soap, soap yesterday? Did you eat pupusa, dijo? Esa palabra no la entendí. Did you what, Maria? Eat. Did, did you eat soap yesterday? Tofu, I think so, right? Tofu. Soap, soap. Eat soap. soap. Okay. Ah, so, so okay. no, I didn't. No, you didn't. Are you sick, Patty? O solo está cold, o solo está con frío. It's very cold in the office. Ah, okay, <laughs> excellent. There you go. Very good. Thank you, Mary. Thank you, Patricia. Somebody else who has finished. Ah, okay, excellent, Patty. Okay, Anita. Okay, let's check. Vamos un solo, Anita. <laughs> Did you take a vitamins yesterday? Repeat, please. Did you take a vitamins yesterday? Vitamins. Who is vitamins? Vitamins. Vitaminas. Oh. Um. No, I didn't. Why? <laughs> no. <laughs> Get. <laughs> y el colágeno. <laughs> es natural. <laughs> yes, I know, I know. No, yo les digo porque yo hasta tomo colágeno para las uñas y todo, right? <laughs> excellent, very <Yo> good. No. <laughs> All right, excellent, Anita. There you go. Thank you, Patty. Very good. Somebody else? Alguien más que me quiera decir sus questions y después escoger su victim? Me. Ah, let's see, Anita. Did you work yesterday? Did you rest the weekend? Did you learn English on Monday? There you go. Check. buenas. ¿A quién va a preguntar? Alguien que no ha participado. Ya le digo, ahorita vemos quién. No ha pasado eh, Genevieve, no ha pasado Karen Heyman, creo, Natalia Guevara y Vanessa Leiva tampoco ha pasado. Karen Heyman. Ok. Let's see, Karen Sita. Okay, did you learn English on Monday? Yes, I, I did. Y ya estoy viéndola. Yes, you did. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Thank you, girls. Somebody else, what about you, Karen? ¿Ya tiene lista sus questions? Supongo que sí, Miss. Okay, dígame, a ver si las chequeamos. Um, did you clean in the morning? Mm -hmm. yeah. Did you eat cake? Mm -hmm. did, you eat? did you did your 
perdón. Did your homework? Ah, no did you cómo. do? Did you do your homework? Ah, uh, sí. Bueno, para preguntar si hizo su tarea, ¿verdad? Sí, ajá. Yes. Did you do? Recuerde que lo, el verb que le va a seguir se queda en simple present. Okay. okay. Ahora sí, Karen, escoja quién necesita para participar. Tenemos a Jenny, tenemos a, a Jenny. Ok, excelente. Algo así, sí. Let's see. Action, Karen. Usted pregunta. Ok. Um, did you clean in the morning, Jenny? Yes, I did. Very good. Perfect. Thank you. <laughs> Excellent. I was just making sure. Se estaba asegurando, Karen. Okay, Jenny, do you have your questions? ¿Tienes sus preguntas? Yes. Okay, tell me. Eh, un, una pregunta. Examen, ¿cómo se pronuncia en inglés? Tenemos exam y tenemos midterm. All right? Okay. Did you drink coffee in the morning? Did you study for the exam? Mm -hmm. Did you go to the supermarket? Excellent, very good, check. Ahora escoja una de esas preguntas y escoja a su victim. Tenemos a, a Lady, porque Lady preguntó, pero no le han preguntado. Tenemos a Lady, tenemos a Natalia y a Jenny. Natalia. Ok, excellent. Okay. Natalia, did you drink coffee in the morning? Yes, I did. No Jane. me falta nunca en las mañanas. ¿Qué le iba a decir Jay? Si no, le iba a preguntar cómo, cómo hace. No puedo, salir, no puedo salir al mundo sin mi café. Yeah, it's true, it's true. Pero al menos no es en ayunas, ¿verdad, Natalia? No, bueno, sí. Natalia, el hígado. Ni modo. All right, excellent. There you go. No olvides su agua. Una agüita antes y después del café. No, eso sí. Excellent. There you go, girls. Thank you. Now, Natalia, dígame sus questions. Okay. Did you watch TV last night? Mm -hmm. uh, did he work in office? Mm -hmm. um, esta última no sé si estará bien estructurada. Did she sleep yesterday in your house? Yeah, it's correct. Está bien okay. estructurada. Right. Okay. Well structured. Ahora escoja su victim. Déjeme ver. Ya le digo quiénes tenemos. Tenemos a Lady. Tenemos a... Carl, uh, creo que Carla ya le preguntaron, I'm not sure. Y a Vanessa y a Jenny. Ok, eh, Vanessa. Vanessa, um, did you watch TV last night? Yes, I did. Very good, excellent. De telenovela, dígale, Vanessa. <laughs> All right. <laughs> There you go, girls. Thank you so much. Now, let me check. I'm missing Jenny. Creo que Jenny todavía no me ha dicho eh, sus questions, ¿verdad? Sí, teacher. Yes, perdón. Okay, excellent. Very good. ¿Ya pasó entonces, Jenny? Yes, right? Yes. Okay, excellent. Thank you. All right, girls. There you go. That was the practice. Esto era para que veamos cómo ligar las preguntas, prestarle mucha atención a este subject que la persona nos está presentando, right? Y poder dar una respuesta simple, sencilla, cortita, pero que sea la correcta. Excellent, very good. Let's go to the following. Word power, summer activities, all right? For this one, we are going to the platform, nos vamos para la platform, to check the vocabulary, all right? So let me look for you, this one. Let me see. Okay, right now you don't need to copy anything because then you will have the opportunity of doing it, all right? Plus I have already done This, ya tengo hecho esta, este exercise. Más que todo lo que quiero es que practiquen y se memoricen qué va a ir con cada cosa. Okay? So let's pay attention. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn vocabulary. 
before discussing summer activities. Let's listen and practice. Summer activities. Go hiking. Go swimming. Have fun. Have a picnic. Meet new people. Meet old friends. Play tennis. Play volleyball. See a movie. See a play. Take a class. Take pictures. Now, let's put these vocabulary words into practice. I would like for you to put these vocabulary words into practice by combining them with these verbs. Go, have, meet, play, see, take. For example, you can go hiking. You can go swimming. After that, I would like for you to think about the last time that you went to the movies, for example, and share your experience. Whenever you have finished, share your work in our discussion forums. All right, Bye, so you have a homework, right? How many of you have finished that homework? ¿Quiénes ya hicieron ese homework? Let's see. Me. Okay, excellent. Really good. Somebody else? No one. All right. Ah, pues vamos a aprovechar ahora de trabajar en eso. Okay, let's see. We have this vocabulary. In, check this out. All right. Ya tenemos hecho aquí esto. Right. We have go hiking. Lo que quiero es que se los vayan como aprendiendo. Right. Learning. Go hiking. Go swimming. Have fun. Have a picnic. Meet new people. Meet old friends. Cuando decimos meet new people, nos referimos a la acción de conocer, right? Y cuando ya decimos meet old friends, es a la acción de encontrarnos, right? Ustedes a lo largo de su estudio en este idioma se van a dar cuenta, si no es que ya se dieron cuenta, que hay verbs que las acciones, hay verbos que las acciones van a depender mucho del contexto, right? O hay palabras inclusive que dependen mucho del contexto, right? Y ahí pueden ir variando. Then you have play tennis, play volleyball, see a movie, see a play, right? Cuando decimos see a play nos referimos como algo actuado, right? Como una actuación. Eso es a lo que ellos le llaman play. Aunque si se fijan anteriormente, utilizamos la palabra play para decir jugar tenis, right? O jugar boli. Para que vean cómo varían según los contextos. And then you have take a class and take pictures. Now let's practice. Let's start with uh, Gloria Mena. Gloria, tell me the vocabulary, please. Go hunting, have fun, meet new people, play tennis, see a movie, take a class, go swimming, high, high, a picnic. Meet all friends, play volleyball, see a play, take pictures. There you go, excellent, thank you. Anita, your turn. Go hiking, have fun, meet new people, play tennis, see a movie, take a class, go swing, have a pinny, meet all friends, play volleyball, See a play, take a picture. There you go. Thank you. Emperatriz, your turn. Let me check. Lady, your turn, please. Yes. Go hiking. Have fun. Meet new people, play tennis, see a movie, take a class, go swimming, have a picnic, meet old friends, play volleyball, see a play, take pictures. There you go. Excellent. Thank you, lady. Let me go mm -hmm. with. Uh huh. Sorry. <laughs> go hiking. <laughs> 
right. have yeah. fun, have a picnic, meet new people, meet old friends, play tennis, play volleyball, see a movie, see a play, take a class, take pictures. There you go. Excellent. Very good. Now, let me see. Genevieve, please tell me the vocabulary. Okay, Miss. Go hiking, go swimming, have a fun, have a picnic, meet new people, meet old friends, play tennis, play volleyball, see a movie, see a play, take a class, take a pictures. Mm -hmm. There you go, take pictures. Let me go with Karen Heyman. Let me see, we don't have Karen. Let's go with Natalia Guevara. Okay, miss, go hiking, go swimming, have fun, have a picnic, meet new people, meet old friends, play tennis, play volleyball, see a movie, see a play, take a class, take pictures. There you go, excellent. Karen Martinez. Your turn. Go hunting, have fun. Go swimming, have a picture. Meet new people, meet old friends. Play tennis, play volleyball. See a movie, see a play. Take a class, take pictures. There you go, excellent. Let's see, Carla Garcia, your turn. Maybe she's busy. Let's see, Jenny Romero, your turn. Go hiking, go swimming, have fun, have a picnic, new, meet new people, meet old friends, play tennis, play volleyball, see a movie, see a play, take a class, take pictures. That's correct, thank you. And let me check. Uh -huh. I have a question. Um, yes. when, when you, when you um, say see a play, is uh, see a, 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 a soccer play, for example, or no? Mm, no, in este caso sería see a game. Pero in este caso, play se refiere a actuaciones. No in a theater. Si say... huh? In a theater? Ah, like in a theater, there you go. Okay, thank you. Uh -huh. Eso es lo que ellos llaman como, tal vez ustedes ya han escuchado la palabra role plays. ¿Qué es lo que ustedes hacen, right? Ustedes actúan las conversations. Cuando tienen las conversations, ustedes hacen role plays. Una hace el rol de Laura y otra hace el rol de Erika. Entonces, a eso es lo que ellos llaman eh, play. All right. Very good question, Jenny. Excellent. Okay, am I missing someone? Vanessa Leiva, please. Okay. Go hiking, go swimming, have fun, have a picnic, meet new people, meet old friends, play tennis, play volleyball, see a movie, see a play, take a class, take pictures. That's great, excellent, thank you. Now. Let me tell you something. When you are creating your sentences using these verbs, you need to remember that right now you are in simple past. Some of the, these verbs are irregular verbs, right? For example, go. What's the past tense of go? ¿Cuál es el pasado de go? When. Went. There you go. Y en el caso de sí, ¿cuál sería mi past tense? So. 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 Uh -huh. There you go, excellent. So, and what about take? Took. Took, there you go, excellent. Así que no se les olvide, right? Al momento de hacer sus sentences, tienen que poner los verbs in simple past. Y van a hacer sentences afirmativas, right? For example, I went hiking last weekend. Aunque aquí no podemos hacer hiking, right? 
no hay a dónde. Pero pueden poner, um, I went swimming last weekend. O I had, ah, también otro verb. ¿Cuál sería el pasado de have? Have. Had. Have. That's correct. Excellent. Had. Okay. We are checking this vocabulary so that you don't forget when you are writing your sentences. Okay. Had. That's the past tense. Ah, pues el único que no va a cambiar <laughs> son meet. Bueno, sí va a cambiar, right? Es un irregular mm -hmm. verb. También. Le van a quitar una E. Don't forget. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Met. And played. Es el único que queda como regular verb. Que solo le van a agregar la E de played. Mm -hmm. There you go. Excellent. De ahí todos son irregulars. Todos estos son irregulars. Don't forget about that. Let's go to our reading. Let's see. We have Kelly, Robert, and Erin. Let me see if I can make this bigger for you, girls. Let me just move on these ones. Okay, let's see. Okay, now let's start. Please, Genevieve, can you read the information about Kelly? Miss, no veo esa letra. <laughs> really? No se preocupe, let me see. Quiero ver si puedo hacer la I'm sorry. Mm, there you go. Y ahora, Jenny, ¿qué tal? Más o menos. <laughs> ok. You try. No se preocupe. Sí, gente. I had a great weekend. We went to my best friend. Ay, es que no veo bien, teacher. <laughs> ok, don't worry, Jenny. Entonces vamos ¿Cómo a... ¿Cómo se pronuncia esa palabra? Helen sería... Helen. Yes, es el nombre de su amiga. Helen's wedding. Helen's wedding. Mm -hmm. She got married at home. All her, all her friends and family went. She looked... I know where miss. Looked. Looked. Fantastic. Look fantastic. She wore a beautiful dress. Mm -hmm. After the ceremony, her parents uy, served. This, served served a wonderful meal. I'm really happy for her. And I really like for husband. All right, there you go, Jenny. Muchas Excuse gracias. Excuse me. <laughs> no, don't worry. Qué pena. Usted me dijo que no podía, right? Pero thank you. <laughs> Excellent. Let's go with Emperatriz. Can you please read the information about Robert? Okay. Robert, I had a walk awful weekend. My friends and I went to rock concert. I had a terrible time. It took three hours to drive there. I didn't like the music at all. And after the concert ends, our car broke down. I called my parents and they came and got us. We finally got us home at 10 this morning. I am so tired. There you go, excellent. Thank you, Emperatriz. All right, now listen, my dear students. We don't have more time to continue with the next reading. But I want you to read this when you are completing the platform, all right? Leanlos porque esta es una buena manera de que ustedes tengan una guía cómo se puede hablar. Yo estoy hablando en presente, pero hablar todo lo que hice, right? In past. Esta es una buena guía y and also for your pronunciation, all right? So tomorrow we are going to continue with this part specifically as a review. And then we are going to start section five. All right, everybody. That was pretty much it for today's class. It was a pleasure to see you, girls, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye, Miss. Bye. 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 Bye.